Hey guys, welcome back. So back in 2018, while I was still studying in my college, I saw this big hype around data science. Everyone wanted to become a data scientist. Everyone wanted that one title on their LinkedIn platform, data scientist at XYZ company. There was a huge demand spike on the job platform. According to Harvard Business Review, data science has become the sexiest job of the 21st century. And while this was happening, nobody exactly knew what the data science really is. For some people, it was all about machine learning, AI, and for some people, it was just about extracting data from the value and building dashboards. There was a lot of confusion around this industry. As with the data science, there were many different terms that came attached with it. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, neural networks, and many more. More and more people wanted to get into data science, and many companies started selling really expensive courses. When one thing gets so much attention, there are chances that it might be a bubble. So what is data science? How has the data industry changed in the last 3-4 to four years? What does a data scientist really do? Why should you become a data scientist? And the last is, is data science really a worthy career right now? I will give you an answer to all of these questions, so stick with me and watch this video till the end. So let's start by understanding what data science really is. In simple terms, data science is all about extracting value from the data that has an impact on business decisions. Now you can use simple excel sheet to solve the problem or use some complex machine learning to solve it. It doesn't really matter in the end. Companies collect the user data to learn what their users are doing, what their users want. For example, in the case of Amazon, you might get recommendation based on your previous search history. Or in the case of YouTube, you might be getting recommendation either related to this video or the type of videos you have been watching till now. Goals of this system is to give you better user experience and the goal of data science is to make that happen. Now data science is really broad fair. We will not be touching the technical aspect of it but I will give you a really good overview so that you can understand this field better. So let's understand how data industry changed into last 3 to 4 years. As I said earlier, when the data science had this big hype in 2018 and 19, most of the people in the industry were confused. They didn't know exactly what are the skills to become a data scientist. Now, the answer to what makes a data scientist has become more clear. Many online courses and universities started to provide more and more data courses as it is becoming more and more easy to understand what industry really requires. Skills and tools required to become a data scientist might change organization to organization, but there are some fundamental skills that you can learn to become data scientist. Initially, there was a lot of chaos, but as people started working more and understood the industry better, things got more clear. Now companies know what they are looking for. That is the reason there are so many jobs which ask for the specific skill set, such as need ETL developer with tools such as Python and Airflow need data visualization expert with a tableau and so on. Data science is really broad fit and it is really difficult to learn everything by yourself. That is the reason data scientists work in a team. Each and every person in the team has different skill set and by working together they can easily solve any problem. So what does a data scientist actually do? The work data scientists do changes organization to organization. But as I said earlier, the final goal of any data science project is to extract value from the data that can help business to improve their day-to-day -day decision making. Each company has their own way of problem solving framework. Microsoft has this framework while IBM has this. If you notice, the first step of any data science project is to understand business. Let's say you are working in an e-commerce company and you are trying to find faults in the supply chain of the company. As it is impacting the delivery performance and your job is to find and help company to improve. Now let's say you have zero understanding of how e-commerce supply chain really works. Then it doesn't even matter how good your data looks, it will be really difficult to solve the problem. It's like this, to build a cancer detection system, you need to understand what caused the cancer in the first place or at least have an expert around you who can tell you about it. So why should you become a data scientist or is it really worthy career right now? Number one and the obvious reason is, if you like solving complex business problems, then data science is for you. But it can change person to person. Data science involves a lot of things from collecting data to cleaning it then visualizing data to build machine learning models. Here are some of the reasons you should consider while becoming a data scientist. Number one is growing demand. 
data science is a job which is creating a lot of hype and it has demand all over the world. Number two is good salary. Data scientists get paid more than average salary. Number three, because data science adds value to the business and anything that can help business to grow will be in demand. And the last, it is still evolving. New tools are being made to make things easier. Growth in cloud computing and AI has made data science fastest growing field. So ask yourself, is data science something you will enjoy working on? Let me know in the comments what you think about this. In the next video, I will tell you the difference between data science, machine learning and data engineering. If you learned something new from this video, then share it with your friends. If you want to support my work, then subscribe to this channel and like the video. It will help YouTube algorithm to recommend this content to more and more people. And see you in the next video. Thank you.